My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. Got the real deal right here. 69 Camaro with a Ride Tech suspension underneath it. A 540 stroker motor putting out 720 horsepower, 690 pounds of torque. We got a five speed Tremec, Ford nine inch in the back. This thing is built, it handles, but yet it's got air conditioning, custom leather interior. It's just an all around cool car. You wanna get out and you wanna drive it. I mean, I mean drive it, shift it, downshift it, hit the turns. This car will do that. I've already tried it. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read the specs, study the pictures, and get the price. Not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars, and we got a bunch of 69 Camaros at the moment. So if you like Camaros, go to volocars.com. If you just enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. For right now, buckle up. Let's go for a spin in this 69 Camaro. Underneath the car, it has the Ride Tech uh, suspension package up front. It's all new, of course. It's got this strong arm, uh, fat tubular control arms. It has a real fat uh, center link with an added brace. I've never seen that in my life. Uh, I Googled it. There is such a thing. Uh, the tie rods are custom. Uh, coil over gas adjustable shocks. Uh, the heavy-duty sway bar, I think they call it their muscle bar. It's all high-tech. It's all bigger than I'm used to seeing. Heavy-duty stuff up front there. Uh, it's lowered down. Wheels don't rub. In back, it's a four-link ride tech suspension. Uh, tubular upper and lower control arms. Coil-over adjustable gas shock. Up above, there's these two bars. Uh, two of them not one i've seen like one brace before but it's got two bars with grease fittings on them got i can just tell it's it's good stuff uh welded in uh global west frame connectors front to back ties it all in together real nicely a stainless steel uh fuel tank from uh, rick's tanks uh, and it has a premium uh, electric fuel pump braided uh, fuel lines uh, the brakes their Willwood disc brake system all the way around. There's six piston in front. I don't know if there's six piston in back. No, they're, they're smaller in the back. They have uh, slotted rotors, has an emergency brake cable system, stainless steel braided hoses. You look up at the motor, there's a Melodin uh, extra capacity oil pan, high torque starter, uh, Tremec five speed uh, with a hydraulic clutch, a custom made aluminum drive shaft. It is a new Ford nine inch rear end and back. Uh, all, all new inside 35 spline axles, uh, you know, posi unit of course. Uh, exhaust system, three inch exhaust, stainless steel polished Magnaflow mufflers. This thing sounds great. You'll hear it in a little bit at the end of this video. So underneath the car, it's, it's the bomb. It's got all the right stuff uh, to do what you want it to do. The body, the body is clean, straight. I bought the car out of California. I don't know where it lived its entire life, but it is a California car. Uh, everything fits very nicely. And again, it is real straight. This is done in a white pearl matte finish. So it's got that smooth matte finish going on. Uh, and blacked out trim. All the stainless moldings, door handles, mirrors, emblems, bumpers, grill, tail panel, that's all blacked out. The windows are blacked out. The side windows are new smoked glass. The windshield is new, that's clear. Oh no, that's tinted too. We got a cowl hood. The wheels, expensive wheels. And they are big, too. I got the sizes written down. I didn't memorize them, but I think they're 18s and 19s. I think in back, they're like 13 inches wide. Uh, there's Detroit Speed mini tubs back there. But we got some wide wheels going on here. I forget the name of them. They're on our website. Uh, they're an expensive premium uh, wheel. 
It's got the, I think those are HID headlights. So it's a 540 stroker. It's got Brodex aluminum heads. It's got the Holly HP uh, fuel injection system. And it's a tall uh, Holly intake that's on there. That was added recently. That's all pretty new. They had a carburetor on there. Uh, it's got headers, of course, uh, MSD ignition. It's got the March bracket and pulley system up front with the mini polished AC compressor, a one-wire alternator, a serpentine belt system. Trunk compartment's pretty straightforward. It's all solid metal. It's got a carpeted mat with sewn edges. Uh, there's some electrical here. That's for the electric fuel pump. And there's some sort of like uh, braided hose goes up to like a can up there. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, LED tail lights. I'll light them up in a minute with the billet, uh, you know, bezels. New weather strip. There is a hairline crack in the metal right here. I've seen them crack there before, but there is a small crack in the metal right there. Really nice looking leather seats. Custom sport seats. They're leather. The back matches. Uh, has like a honeycomb design. Uh, carpets, embroidered floor mats, has a Fesler uh, steering wheel on a tilt column, all new instrument panel with some nice white face phantom gauges, uh, vintage air heater controls set up. Back in here, it's got the uh, cast aluminum Chevrolet valve covers, Willwood master cylinder. Uh, it's got the modern power steering with the remote billet uh, reservoir. It's got stainless steel braided uh, power steering hoses upgraded steering box, aluminum radiator, two fans, overflow bottle. There's a battery disconnect switch here. Of course, it's got headers. I think I might have mentioned that. Got a custom filler panel up front. These are those nice billet hinges. I think they're about 700 bucks. It's got a stereo. Right here in the seam, there is a little blistering right in that seam there. There's the paint probably cracked. That's what they do there. And maybe a little moisture got under there. A little bit of bubbling right there. So you probably rather hear the car than hear me talk. It's got a really nice billet shifter with drilled slots in it. Nice uh, you know, boot and bezel around it that's all cool. LED interior lights. I bought this car from it a hard time letting it go but you had a family and you know the old story and why it has to go that was the case here but car is awesome you want to get out like I said and actually have fun on the road actually get out and drive it this thing will do it go to volocars.com I just gave you my opinion of this car if you have specific questions or concerns uh, feel free to ask the salesman at volocars.com they can also get you financed, and we can ship this thing anywhere in the world. If you just enjoy watching our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. I did say one thing earlier. I said the tires don't rub. They haven't rubbed for me, but you get four or five people in there, maybe they will rub. So that's not a guarantee that I've driven the car. They're not rubbing. Uh, so there you have it, volocars.com if you want more information. Thanks for watching.